All right, equations involving exponents. Example 40. So we're asked to solve the equation 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to 9. Now, I think I'll probably show you two ways in which you could solve this. Now, in gen generally, when they're doing this, um, the first thing to do is to get the power, get the unknown, which is x, from out of the power. One way to do that is to take log for both sides. Now, if I take log to the base two, log to the base ten of both sides, I'm going to get um log to the base ten of um two to the x minus one is equal to log to the base ten of nine. I just took log of both sides. Now, using my law of logarithms, I'm going to bring the power to the front. So now I have x minus 1 um, times the log to the base 10 of 2 is equal to log to the base 10 of 9. All right. Now, um, let's remove the bracket by applying distributive law. I'm going to have x log to the base 10 of 2 minus log to the base 10 of 2 is equal to log to the base 10 of 9. Let's get x by itself. Getting x by itself, x log to the base 10 of 2 is equal to log to the base 10 of 9 plus log to the base 10 of 2. Using my law of logarithms, I could say that this is saying x log to the base 10 of 2 is equal to log to the base 10 of um, 18. 18 being what? 9 times 2. Because if I'm adding two logs and the base in the same, I can make it into one log by multiplying the numbers. So now, if I divide both sides by log to the base 10 of 2, log to the base 10 of 2, I'm going to get that x is equal to log to the base 10 of 18 divided by log to the base 10 of 2. Now you can um, put this in a calculator and, um, and get the answer. So let me give you a minute to do that. Put log to the base 10 of um, 18, divide by log to the base 10 of 2, and tell me what to get for the answer using a calculator. All right, and so if we put this in our calculator, we would end up with, um, X is equal to 4.17. All right. So the solution of our equation is X is equal to 4.17. Right, I'm going to do this entire question essentially the same way, but I'm going to use um, a different base. We use log to the base 10. We could have used, I'm guess, basically maybe any base. One of the more popular ones would be log to the base 10 or log to the base E, which is ln. Um, but I'm going to use log to the base 2. So what we have now is what? Taking log to the base 2 of both sides, log to the base 2 of 2 to the x minus 1 is equal to log to the base 2 of 9. Um, using my law of logarithms, I'm going to bring the power to the front, x minus 1, multiply by um, log to the base 2 of 2 is equal to log to the base 2 of 9. Now, log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. Log to the base 2 of 2 is 1. So what we have now is what? 1 multiplied by x minus 1, which essentially gives you what? x 
minus one is equal to log to the base two of nine. Now X is therefore now log to the base two of nine plus the number one. Now, of course, we can put that in our calculator and see if we would have gotten the same answer as we got before, which is 4.1. So please try that and let me know what did you get for the answer if you put log to the base two of nine plus one in a calculator. All right, so this now, if you put it in your calculator, you're going to get what? X is equal to 4.17. Um, you notice that um, this approach sort of like made the, made the calculation a little less what complicated. All right, with that in mind, please attempt examples 41 and 42.